Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. This episode we want to um, uh, present an artwork which is, uh, has uh, some fame, if you like. Uh, most of the artwork is famous, alhamdulillah, but uh, still there are some artworks that has been published more than others, has been exhibited more than others, uh, and it has certain kind of significance, either because of um, the time it has been uh, worked out or because how they been published or have been, have been exhibited. One of these is um, uh, the uh, this artwork. <clears throat> this artwork is, uh, we can see it now here, this artwork which is called Ach in Ach, and we can see the full uh, picture of the artwork is as, as we can see it here. Now, this artwork has been um, uh, painted on the uh, time of the Bosnian War, uh, where um, different um, sides were um, fighting. Muslims has been crushed, uh, being killed around, and being burned, and being taken away from their homes and the rest of it. Um, and there was a uh, big disasters uh, in that area for about five or six years. Now, this artwork um, also um, uh, uh, in the artwork, which is uh, I've written a piece of a poem, which is uh, always we can read here. Uh, the poem is about um, how uh, uh, the people are reacting to what they see of all these disasters. Some of them are negligent, some of them they don't care, some of them are. Um, uh, um, somehow they are not putting enough effort to stop it or to um, uh, help the people who are being um, uh, badly um, treated. Now, um, and the, the, the poem is, is, uh, is, as you can see, in, <coughs> in Arabic. Uh, uh, and um, uh, also translated in English. It says, Akhin Akh. The word ach in ach is an uh, expression of bitterness about what is happening while we are, all of us, we are not able to change or to help. This is how, how it was. Ach in ach. Ach in ach in min al hammi wal ghammi wal ikhfaqi ach. Ach in min al ayyi wal samami wal itbaqi ach. Ach in min al dhulmi al sarmadi wal qahri al abadi. والغي والإرهاق آخ آخ من الإحجام وتأخر الإقدام وتعثر الأقدام وتكسر الأقلام وتفسح الأحلام وتفسخ الأحلام آخ وآخ من ضيق العقول والآفاق وآخ من سداجة الأوهام وسماجة الكلام آخ آخ من تعجل الآمال وتعمد الإهمال آخ آخ من إسناد المهام لغير القادرين آخ من طيش القادة وتعنت العاملين وآخ وآخ من سطحية القائمين واستخفاف القادرين آخ وآخ آخ وآخ آخ بأبعادها وأهوالها المرة وكم هي مرة طعمها علقم بالظلم مخنوقة وحلقها أبكم وآخ آخ من كونها الآخ This is been written in 1993. Now this uh, piece, of, uh, uh, piece of artwork has been also um, uh, I've done another piece uh, which is um, echo the same work of the artwork here but in different color and in a different time uh, giving the same thing the uh, the poems are the same but the the uh, the expression a little different and this is how it looks like now you could see that the art the other artwork was different when it comes to color uh, from this artwork now this has been uh, uh, done i think in uh, 2014 um, uh, yes 2014 and it has been exhibited also. Now, for the exhibited in Lebanon in different places, um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, an eye of Lebanon, they call it, this is the book, uh, Uruba, uh, which is, means the Arabs. Um, that was the uh, time it has been exhibited in Lebanon, but it has been exhibited also elsewhere. Now, this uh, piece of artwork, 
Now it is in a, a bright collection in 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 uh, in the Gulf. I think it could be Kuwait, uh, and it has been published in more than one book. We have uh, uh, we might be able to bring the other book which is, has been published in with the Oxford University uh, exhibition in 1993. We also can go back uh, to uh, uh, further a few few years, and we can see this was this uh, culture, Libyan culture uh, week we had in the uh, in the um, early 80s, 90, uh, 90, yeah, 1982. That was in the um, uh, one of these very well known. Um, let me see uh, where it. Yes, it's the Royal Overseas League Park Place, St James Street, in uh, London, SW1. That was the uh, the exhibition, and some of the exhibition, one of the exhibition uh, ex exhibited pieces was this piece. This piece, this piece is a shadda. Now it is with the uh, British Museum since uh, 86, 86, which is you are talking about uh, 20, 32 years uh, ago. Um, also, it has been uh, exhibited in different art, uh, other places, uh, either through the. Um, uh, British Museum, as did in uh, 2006 and 2007, when they exhibited it in Tate Gallery with other uh, uh, artworks, and um, uh, of course, with in this in this uh, uh, Libyan uh, week, we had uh, we had more than one item. Partly, it's not only my art; it was also. Uh, 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 some kind of written uh, material. There was a films like this, pictures like like this from Libya and from this also, uh, and um, it was with the um, yeah the was was with uh, should we say with the other colleague, which is called a very well known Libyan writer called Ahmed Al Faqih, who is a is a is a writer, a very well known, um, uh, and um, uh, he's a novelist, a very well known novelist. And that's just to give you some of the history of some of some of the of the art which is we done. Now look at this beautiful look at this beautiful saying. Look at this beautiful saying. It says, <clears throat> "This is by Ibn Fard. Ibn Fard is a poet, but he also was a, a Sufi, very well known Sufi, with a lot of uh, um, uh, Sufic um, poetry and spiritual poetries." Um, we don't uh, agree on everything, shall we say, somebody like Ibn Fahd will say, but there are a lot of beautiful things has been said by him and, and others, of course. Now look at what he says. In symbols, in symbols, there is a meaning, in symbols, there is a meaning that words cannot define. Look at that powerful expression. In symbols, there is a meaning that words cannot define. There's, again, as we said so many times, there's so much here uh, of the, look at that, how many how many uh, important uh, items as we uh, indicated here in the book. So that is that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it uh, might be uh, very important um, to say that um, in this episode, we spoke about these two artworks which is we, we um, uh, uh, named the artwork, uh, read uh, the poetry, talked about the history, why this has been done, um, uh, and um, how this was a reaction to, if you like, um, while it is a genuine idea, even if, if this, things like this didn't happen, um, we all, uh, all of us, um, uh, shall we say, treasure the idea of justice and fairness uh, towards others, no doubt, all the time. But of course, when things like this, when very bad things like this happened, where other people have been hurt, been killed, um, uh, especially there are uh, people who are not able, shall we say, to defend themselves, defend their children, their women, and the rest of them, that you will uh, 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 focus your mind a little more. There, therefore, that that's why there was uh, that uh, uh, piece of uh, poetry. Now, these uh, two artworks which we spoke about, one of them is the Akh and Akh, and as we spoke, and then also uh, uh, how uh, uh, this has, how, how many times it has been um, exhibited uh, or, or painted. And then we also talked about the, the artwork Shadda, which has been uh, uh, acquired by uh, British Museum in 86, 
uh, and has been exhibited around. Uh, part of the exhibition also went uh, also to um, uh, Tate Britain in 2006-2007. Uh, and we hope that uh, this gives you uh, an idea about these artworks and also the... Um, uh, uh, if you like the 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 history and how the time progresses uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the artwork, how many times they exhibited because the uh, these some of them are exhibited in more than in one place. Some of them are in uh, in London. Some of them are uh, Barbican in London. Also, some of them are in the uh, Amsterdam, uh, the Museum of. Uh, uh, historical uh, items, whatever it is, the name, I've forgotten the name, but it's easy to find out. And um, uh, we hope that uh, you enjoy this, and um, uh, we hope this information and these uh, ideas are um, uh, an, an addition to, to knowledge and to um, uh, uh, enjoyment and to pleasure to every um, uh, 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 person who is looking at this um, video. Thank you very much indeed. I'll see you later.